Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is a morning market prep video for June 29th, 2022. Well, my goodness, yesterday was kind of an ugly day with uh, a nasty reversal in the market. We had that pop and drop that I had kind of suggested might be the possibility that we'd want to watch for on the day. Unfortunately, that did come to pass. Hopefully you didn't get caught up in the hype on the uh, morning open and rush in because that would have been a painful day. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Wednesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I truly appreciate it. Well, doggone it, let's take a look at these charts. We we have kind of a bearish setup here this morning, um, and we're waiting on a GDP number that could change everything. And who knows how the market's going to react to this. First, let's take a look at the technicals of the charts. See if we can gain some information about how we may want to approach the market for today. First off, one of the things we have to continue to recognize is we are in a downtrend. And as long as we are in a downtrend in this market, remember, we have a different situation. If you have not been trading since the 2008, if you started trading after the 2008 um, market sell-off, then you have probably never seen a situation where the market is um, actively being pushed down by the Fed. Um, we're in a different situation where before we could get the selling and then we get this automatic rebound in the market and that was simply because the Fed put was in place. The Fed was backing the market. They are not doing that now. As a matter of fact, they are aggressively working to um, push this market um, lower to um, take some of the uh, froth out of the market and work on inflation. And obviously they are staying committed to that at this point. And so we have a different situation here. And those folks that continue to speculate the whole buy the dip thing um, has been lost here. And, and unfortunately, a lot of those folks are being drummed out of the market. They're losing their accounts because they continue to, to um, maintain that high speculation attitude here in the market. Now, we have to continue to respect these resistance levels. As, in, in, as long as we continue to downtrend, when we rally toward resistance, we have to be watching for those potential failure patterns to occur. And that's certainly what happened yesterday, leaving behind kind of an evening star type pattern. But we have that uncertainty of this number today. Will it create a push up or a push down in the market? I'm not really sure. Or will it be just kind of a non-event? Boy, the way the market is acting here lately, anything is possible. And so be prepared and be very, very careful how you approach the market for today. Let's take a quick look at our technicals here in the chart. Obviously, our technicals not very, um, not very good. Um, as you can see, 50s crossed down through the 200-day move or the 500-day moving average, and our shorter-term average is providing a cap on this market today. So watch that closely um, again if we run through the other indexes you'll see that the spy also um, pretty ugly situation failing along its downtrend failing at price resistance in the chart um, clearly not a comfortable situation here for the market in evening star type pattern which is a bearish pattern but the good news here guys if there is good news and that is we haven't really broken um, a little bit of a support level here in the chart just yet so fingers crossed that we can hold a higher low in here and push back up depending on how these numbers roll out over the next few days. Let's take a look at the technicals here. Obviously very dismal on those technicals, 50 down through the 500 day, and we are certainly bearish on um, those moving averages. So not looking very good here. 
If we take a look at the NASDAQ, now NASDAQ had a little bit of a challenging uh, problem yesterday with big tech really reversing. If you guys remember yesterday, I suggested Apple could be setting up as a short, and that certainly turned out to be the case yesterday. Um, but as you can see, we're failing along the downtrend, failing at price resistance levels in the chart not a good sign but once again we didn't quite break down through some of this little price support in here so the question for today will these numbers help us support that will the bulls be able to defend a higher low or will those bears come in pushing us right on down hard to say but certainly not the most comfortable of situations here for the morning if we take a look at our iwm IWM, a very similar situation, putting in a failure pattern here right along the downtrend, right in the price resistance levels of the chart. And our technicals on all of these indexes are, are not good. So um, we don't have a whole lot to hang our hat on other, other than the hope that we could get a little bit of uh, price support in here. And once again, see those bulls defend if we can get some numbers that start to support the market unfortunately we did get some news this morning uh, the fed uh, mester from uh, she's a voting member of the fed came right out this morning and said she continues to support a 75 basis point increase next month as they continue to work to um, drive this inflation lower and we're going to hear from the Fed, um, uh, Jerome Powell, later uh, this morning as well. So, boy, the hits just keep on coming when we have a market like this. Now, let's take a look at um, our VIX. Our VIX yesterday, I had mentioned that possibility that if we did get that pop and drop, we could see that bounce right off of trend, right off of price support. That is what we got. And then we ended up the day with a bit of a bullish engulfing candle here. So the question this morning is going to be, how do we react to this market data? Are we actually in recession right now? Um, or did we escape a recession for the moment? That's the question of the morning. And um, we'll talk about that in just a second. So how we respond from here will be interesting. Will we continue to move up? Will we consolidate a little bit? Or will we get a bullish reaction in the market that pushes this fix back down? And, and I think all three are potentially possible. We just don't know how the market's going to react to this data. Certainly, the manufacturing data is very bearish. Um, we've seen over the last couple of days, manufacturing numbers very bearish. And that likely suggests we're going to start to see increases in unemployment and a decline in some of those uh, jobs, uh, job openings out there. So watch this stuff closely. There is a lot of play here. And, and when we throw in the geopolitical concerns out there, my goodness, we just have an awful lot on our plate. If we take a look at our T2122, now this may give you just a little bit of hope um, in the T2122, as you can see, pushed down substantially yesterday. And so we're reaching down here toward these bullish reversal zones here in T2122 and that possibility that we could bounce back up off of there um, and um, open up some upside. So today it's going to be all about the data. Is the data good enough to support those bulls? Will the bulls be able to defend this higher low? Or will those bears um, maintain that control, pushing us on through some of those support levels? So looking at this chart, you can see if we can find reason uh, for bullishness, we've certainly opened up a pretty substantial upside opportunity in the market. If we find reason for bearishness, um, then those bears still have a little bit of room that they could push us down into that bullish reversal zone. So challenging morning to the, to know what's going to happen and I would be really really careful with how you approach the market today um, as I mentioned yesterday you know sometimes um, when the market is showing us this much uncertainty um, this much um, wild volatility that it it may be better to just protect your capital hold on to that money rather than blindly risking it in the market and we've seen a lot of folks here recently suffering 
horribly in this market, losing vast amounts of capital um, to this market and the volatility. So be very, very careful. Let's take a look at our T2108. Our T2108 pulled back yesterday, but the good news here in T2108 is that it didn't crush all the way back down. So although we did see a little bit of a uh, pullback here, the selling yesterday seemed to be rather controlled. And as you can see, if, we, if we've got 25, 26% of the stocks holding above their 40 day moving average, that's pretty tough to build a strong bullish case on, but at least it's better than seeing um, this pushing all the way back down through some of these support levels in the chart. So we haven't done that yet. We're kind of hanging in there on T2108. So again, fingers crossed that those bulls can find some inspiration to hold a higher low. If we take a look at our T2107, T2107 pulled back a little bit as well, but once again, there's nothing bullish about this chart right now uh, because we we haven't been able to break through you know any of these levels. Obviously, T2107, T2108 continue in downtrends. But the good news is yesterday with that sell off, we didn't break back down or lose some of these areas in here. So it wasn't that extreme, even though it might have felt pretty painful, particularly if you rushed in and bought yesterday morning. Um, but again, 19% uh, of the stocks holding above their 200 day moving average is pretty tough to build a strong bullish case for the market. Um, our T2101, I don't believe we're getting really good um, um, signals from T2101 on momentum but what we do we can see in here is we we are maintaining um, this uptrend we have uh, temporarily we broke that resistance to the upside and as we continue pushing up we can see that the bears are still in control on this chart but I don't know that we're getting really good momentum um, indications here in the chart and that would be just because we're running lighter than normal volume um, this uncertainty is just creating that that volatility in, in, um, in the range. And by the way, it is entirely possible that we could remember in about two weeks, two and a half weeks, we're going to start into third quarter earnings. I don't think people believe that third quarter earnings are going to be all that great, but you'll want to keep in mind there is that possibility here that what we may be doing is setting a price range here in a um, in the chart where we could just bounce back and forth in here for the next couple of weeks as we wait um, for those earnings reports to start coming out. So keep in mind that certainly is a possibility as well. I wish I could give you a clear direction in the market, but we when, when, when we have so many things pending when we have so many um, uncertainties out there in the market there's no way that you can have a certainty on which way the market is going to go and um, I think yesterday uh, proved that where we were reversed all the way back down so be very very careful let's take a look at our economic calendar for today now our economic calendar this is what I've been talking about all morning we're gonna finally get the answer the debate whether or not we are already in recession or whether or not we have escaped recession. We have um, people arguing yesterday, um, uh, economists and, and traders and things like that. No, we're in recession. No, we're not in recession. Um, who knows? We'll find out here this morning. What I can say is the consensus, the Econo Day consensus for the GDP says that we will be in a recession. Um, as you can see, they're expecting a negative 1.4. We'll have to wait and see if that comes out. Now, if if the number surprises, if it's a lot further negative than that, that could certainly bring in the bears. If it comes in better than that, or if we happen to see that we didn't fall into recession, we could certainly see the bulls re-engage here and push us right back up. So be prepared. There's going to be a lot of volatility before the market opens. Now, we also have to think about this Jerome Powell speech. Now, Jerome Powell has been pretty pretty hardcore um, on, on sticking to his gun, saying we will be fighting inflation. We're not going to be changing that status here soon. And the Fed's mester um, uh, kind of 
um, foreshadowed his speech today saying that uh, same thing. They're still on on task for probably a 75 basis point increase, probably a minimum of 50 basis increase. So they're going to continue to push pretty hard to uh, bring that inflation down, which obviously is going to be a negative impact to the overall market. After that point, we're going to hear from the petroleum status. Obviously, that will be important today for us as those energy prices continue to be one of the major contributing factors to our high inflation. I wish I could say that the hits are over at that point, but the hits are going to keep on coming on Thursday with uh, jobless claims, personal incomes, and outlays. This is going to be an important number in here. And then, of course, Chicago PMI and, and natural gas um, and then the Fed balance sheet after the close. But watch those closely. We're, we're still not out of the woods here. A lot, a lot more uncertainty potentially on our way. On our earnings calendar today, we have a little bit bigger day than we have seen so far this week. I'll cover some of these. Um, if you want the full list of notables this morning, you might want to make sure and click the link below the title of the video. That'll take you back to the morning blog where you can catch that full list of notables. Remember, guys, um, we have today and we have tomorrow, and that is the end of second quarter, and we're going to roll over into the third. So there is that possibility of some window dressing um, that could happen today as well as institutions kind of jockey around and shift positions um, looking into the quarter ahead. So watch for that volatility. Um, let's take a look at some of these here today. Uh, BBBY will be reporting today. It looks like we've got a disappointment here um, on BBBY this morning uh, moving on lower. So keep a close eye on that one. We're going to hear from uh, um, General Mills today and you can see General Mills food and food related stocks where there's still an awful lot of conversation about massive food shortages later on this year. We'll see. I don't know if those predictions are correct, but what we are starting to see is some of these defensive sector food stocks perk up and GIS looks like I'm getting a nice move here this morning on its earnings report. Another defensive sector stock, MKC, reporting today went the other direction, um, moving down. Packaged foods here moving sharply lower here this morning. They have missed on, on their target. So um, obviously quite a mix here in results and we can see an awful lot of punishment for stocks that miss on earnings. You'll wanna think about that carefully heading into the third quarter because I don't think too many people are expecting really great earnings results in the third quarter. So watch carefully. You can see how those punishments can happen really hard and be pretty darn nasty. Let's take a look. Uh, PAYX is also reporting today. You'll want to keep an eye on that. And the last one um, I'm going to cover here this morning, uh, maybe UNF reporting today um, might be worth keeping an eye on that. Obviously been in a nasty downtrend here in the chart, so this could be a, an important report. Um, again, Click that link below the title of the video if you want to catch some of those notables. So let's take a look at a few stocks that could be setting up today. But before we do that, guys, if you can do me that quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And I just want to shout out and say thank you to everyone who continues to click those thumbs up buttons, leaving those brief comments. That's helping the channel to continue to grow. Thank you so much, guys. You are truly awesome. Um, let's take a look at um, some of these stocks that could be setting up. And remember, guys, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. As a matter of fact, you're going to have to do your own due diligence. Be very, very careful here because truly anything is possible today. And we could gyrate up and down um, in the same session here 
um, with the the emotion of this market spilling out. So let's take a look at a couple things here. Um, as I mentioned yesterday, um, stocks that have been pushing up and getting a little bit of a pullback and potentially setting up a higher low are of interest to me. And those would be those stocks like Merck, Merck push, pushing up, breaking through resistance. Now we need to hold the higher low. And then I would be looking at something like Merck. Um, BMY would be another one of those, holding in there, breaking through resistance, resting back to consolidate. Um, awesome potential opportunity there. Take a look at um, um, some stocks in the shipping area. FedEx, you know, um, we buy everything online pretty much anymore. Um, um, sadly to the demise of the mom and pop shops out there but as you can see here pushing through resistance and now getting a resting pullback I'd keep an eye potentially on FedEx you want to be keeping an eye on stocks like um, Chewy Chewy pulled back yesterday. This is exactly what I wanted to see um, in this chart after stretching to the upside here. Um, notice in this chart that we're up above our 50-day moving average. Up above our 50-day moving average, which gives us that opportunity of a rounded bottom breakout pattern. And if we can rest and pull back and kind of hold on to this price support in here, consolidate, come out here toward trend, and look for that next upside move in that chart in Chewy. Uh, Zoom Mobile is also putting in those same kind of patterns, breaking through resistance. You can see up through that 50 day moving average. If we can um, hold on to price support in here and just consolidate this move out here toward the trend, we want to look for that next opportunity in stocks like that in Zoom Mobile. So keep a close eye on some of those um, stocks. You know, I'm not at all interested um, right now with the conditions. Um, I, uh, China is clearly an enemy of the United States at this moment, and I have no interest um, in um Chinese issue stocks at the moment. But if you take a look um, here, NIO, if you like these kind of trades, I think they're certainly suitable for quick in and out uh, type positions. But obviously, um, we're not getting clear data from a lot of these folks, and we're finding out um, more and more that we're <laughs> the, the data that we do receive is false. So be really, really careful with uh, charts like this. But that being said, this is a nice little pattern here, as you can see, breaking through resistance, pulling back. NIO is one of those market darlings here for a long, long time. Um, certainly has pulled back strongly and may provide some pretty good opportunities. So watch for those if you like those kind of stocks. So with that, guys, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to I want to caution you once again to be very very careful in a market like this. Make sure you're protecting that capital. Remember, there's no medals at the end of the day for being brave um, in the market. Um, it only matters is how you know at the end of the day how your account turns out. And I know there's a lot of folks that have been losing consistently in this market. We at Rightway Options are trading less, but we're making more money be taking very cautious, very focused trades. And if that is of interest to you, we'd love to have you come um, take a look and see if we can help you out with your trading. With that, everyone, have an awesome, awesome day. I wish you all the best. Take care of yourselves, and we'll see you right back here bright and early Thursday morning.